So this question gives us a, an expression, x squared plus 6x plus x, I'm sorry, x squared plus 6x plus 4, and then goes on to say which of the following is equivalent to the expression above. So I'm going to say that the strategy for this question is simplify. We're used to seeing this strategy whenever a question is short, right, between one and three lines long, and in addition to it being short, an expression or an equation being provided in the question. What we may not be used to seeing for simplified questions is that in this case, I believe that what we should actually simplify are the answer choices. And then once we've simplified the answer choices, figure out which one of these answer choices matches the original expression provided in the question. So I'm going to show you that way, although there may be multiple other ways to get there. But I think it's worthwhile to see that sometimes you need to simplify the answer choices. So let's start off with answer choice A. So A is saying that we have x plus 3 squared plus 5. So how do I simplify that? Well, x plus 3 squared is the same as x plus 3 times x plus 3. And of course, I still have my plus 5. And now I'm going to FOIL this. So x times x is x squared. x times 3 is 3x. Three, 3 times x is another 3x. And 3 times 3 is 9. And of course, I still have my plus 5. So I can pretty much tell already that this is not going to work because I see at the end here I have 9 plus 5, which is 14. And I know that my answer, just to clear this up a little bit, my answer should just have a plus 4. Right? So in essence, this is going to give me x squared, x squared plus 6x plus 14, which is not what I want. So choice A is gone. So now let's go to choice B. So B says the same thing, but now we have a minus 5. So instead of redoing this entire thing, what instead I'm going to do is just erase this here and this here. I say, well, and I guess that there. I say, well, now if I had a minus 5 here, right? So this is a minus 5. Then this becomes a minus 5 over here, right? Which would mean I would have x squared plus 6x. And then 9 minus 5 is, in fact, positive 4. So that is exactly what I'm looking for. So I believe that choice B is the correct answer. Now, if I wanted, I could check C and D and see that, hey, C and D are different in that they have x minus 3 squared. So the question is, can x minus 3 squared still leave me with an x squared plus 6x, right? Can I still get that x squared plus 6x? I know that I can't. But if you want to try it out just to make sure, which is worthwhile, I think, we have x minus 3, x minus 3. We FOIL that, we get x squared, and then minus 3x, and minus 3x. And then we have our plus 9, which means we're going to have x squared minus 6x plus 9. So even if I you know, add 5 to that 9 and get a 14, which I know I do not want, or if I subtract 5 from that 9 and get a positive 4, which I do want, the problem for choice D would be that it's x squared minus 6x instead of x squared plus 6x. So that's the reason why choice B is the best answer here.